Hey guys, it's Sarah and today I'm going to be making Elvis style peanut butter and jelly fried chicken sandwiches using Sheepdog's peanut butter whiskey. Joining me is Sheepdog Rose who is barking mad about peanut butter. So first up I'm going to marinate my chicken. I've got some buttermilk here, I'm going to add some black pepper, some powdered garlic, cayenne pepper and some sea salt. Give that a little mix together. And then we've got some chicken thighs and we're just gonna add those straight in. So the cayenne pepper is gonna add a little bit of heat. We've got the garlic to balance that out and the pepper, again, a little bit of a kick and then salt for flavor. So I'm gonna cover it in some cling film and it's gonna sit in the fridge for about an hour and then we're gonna dredge it with seasoned flour and fry it to make it nice and crispy. Let's get started on our satay sauce. I'm gonna add in some sheepdog peanut butter whiskey. Straight into the pot. I'm also gonna go in with some smooth peanut butter, two tablespoons. We've got some coconut milk, a little bit of soy sauce, some fresh lime juice, and I've got some little bits of chilli here just for a little bit of a kick, it's always nice inside the satin sauce. And finally a little bit of water. So we're just going to give it a stir and let it come together, it already smells so good, I can smell all of that delicious peanut butter flavour. We're going to cook this for about two to three minutes, it's just until the alcohol cooks off a little bit, the sheepdog peanut butter whiskey, it smells so good. So we can just set it to one side and we'll get on with our fried chicken. So now our chicken is marinated, we're going to dredge it in some seasoned flour and get it frying. So I've got some flour in here, I'm going to add in some cayenne pepper, some black pepper, some smoked paprika, a little bit of salt and I'm just going to mix that all together. So the spices in this are very similar to the marinade, so we're just mimicking exactly what we've put in the buttermilk so we get a flavour all the way through our chicken. Um, my oil is already hot, so I'm just going to start by taking a piece of chicken, popping it in, and I'm going to push all of that flour right into my chicken so it covers it completely and I get all of that craggly, amazing crispy chicken. I'm going to go straight into my oil. So I'm just going to fry that until it's lovely and golden and brown. About three to four minutes either side. I want a nice, deep golden brown colour. And then I'm gonna dredge the rest of my chicken and fry it, and then we're gonna assemble our burger. So now that my chicken is super crispy and ready to go, I'm gonna start building my burger. So I'm gonna go in with some grape jelly, just because it's like the traditional thing that you would put in a PB and J. And then I'm gonna go down with a little bit of baby gem lettuce and a couple of pieces of cucumber. I'm gonna grab one of my really crispy pieces of chicken, look at that. And then straight on with that amazing peanut butter satay sauce we made earlier. I think Rose is super hungry, she's sniffing. Not quite yet, Rose. <laughs> and then I'm gonna to top it with a little bit of fresh coriander and a couple of fresh chilies. Pop the lid on, and there we have it my Elvis style peanut butter and jelly fried chicken sandwich topped off with sheepdog peanut butter whiskey satay sauce. It looks delicious. What do you think, Rose? And to top it off, I've poured myself a cheeky peanut butter and jelly shot. Let's give this a try. Mmm. It's got a really lovely peanut butter flavor, a great kick from all of those chilies. This one is for all of those peanut butter lovers. Give it a try and Rose and I will see you soon.